This is day one. You have to start somewhere. So this is the day I decided to get my looks. Um, around this time, I was going through a lot. Um, I still am, but it was a lot that time. So I just decided to do it, and I just it just felt right. Um, so so I just booked an appointment. So I am combing out my hair. I literally just realized that I wouldn't even need combs. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So. I am going to be combing out my hair for my look appointment because I was getting locked up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get lots um, today. My hair is really, really crazy because I've been like really depressed and I just haven't had the energy to do anything with it lately. So it's probably like really bad now. <laughs> so I'm going to comb it out before my appointment. I should have done this a few days ago, but like I said, I just didn't. I wasn't. I didn't have the. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. So now I'm feeling. Uppity today, play my music, had my shower, so I'm gonna just comb out my hair and then go to my hair appointment. So yeah, I'm not gonna make this long or anything. I'm just tuning in and showing you before I get locked up. Locked up. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm looking forward to this journey. So okay, so my hair is all combed. Ignore so that's the office in the back. Um but yeah, hair is all combed out. This is beautiful. My hair um, tangled up, but I feel free. Um, so I literally have half an hour to go to my appointment. So I'm gonna get ready and go to my hair appointment to get locked up. <laughs> I need to stop, but yeah, I'm gonna get my locks today. So crazy because I just left my house, and the next time I come home, I'm gonna have like my hair locked up. Well, even though I know it's gonna take months for the locks to form, but it's the start of the journey. So. So this was my second wash that day. Um, I thought it was like dry flaky scalp because I think I have dandruff but he said it wasn't that. He said it looked like it could have been some sort of product so maybe it was the glue from my previous style. So I always do my hair and I haven't had my hair washed in years so this felt really really good. I think the last time I got my hair washed by someone else was probably July 2020 when I got my first silk press. So it literally felt so so amazing and like I couldn't even explain it like having to do your hair all the time just having someone else in your hair just it just felt so so good so I'd actually recommend getting your hair washed if you just want to treat yourself because like it felt so good, <laughs> it felt so good. So here we had both discovered that I had a lot of hair loss and breakage in parts of my hair and I was experiencing high levels of stress at this time so he pointed out to me that I had some bald patches which I didn't even know I had in my own hair. Because of this he had actually ended up um, doing my first row of locks higher up than intended um, because I, had, I didn't have enough hair for it to start where he wanted it to start and the same thing goes for the front of my hair as well. Now I didn't want small locks 
and these are larger than what I had wanted however I have to consider that with all the hair loss I had was experiencing at this time that this was best suited for my hair type so for anyone thinking of starting locks um, like I did you may go in with images and pictures of what you want but at the end of the day your locks will be unique to you so likewise my locks are unique to me and I do love them I'm always switching up my hair and trying new styles and I'll probably miss that one thing I absolutely will not miss though is this right here getting my hair combed i will not miss it <laughs> if you know you know that is all i have to say so my loctician had accidentally combed out one of the locks so he was just going through and redoing that there and i'd say he kind of is a perfectionist but that's kind of really good to know when you are coming to get your hair done at least i know i'm walking out with the best possible style and he'd gone the whole head without having to redo any so i was just saying to him that it's probably because he reached the front because you know when you're like coming to the end of something that's like when something usually goes wrong for example have y'all ever been eating crisps and then you drop the last crisp out the packet. Oh my gosh. It's cause it's the last one, you know, you're just waiting for it. And then it goes a mess up. That's so random, but anyways. Yeah, it's like, if we got air pocket, like there, I have to do that one back again. Um. So here he was just telling me about something called a bubble. I would have played his explanation, but I'm not trying to get copyright because of music. So I'll just say what he said. Basically, because the gel he was using had an air bubble, so it would have puffed up that lock in a few days time. So he had to go over and do it again without the air bubble. So it would just remain the one solid cylinder shape rather than having any air bubbles or puff so he was really feeling the music here and i know in my face i looked like i couldn't be bothered but honestly i had so much thoughts going on in my head that i was just very much distant from that moment and yeah i usually just put on a smile if i've got a lot a lot going on so you can't really tell but Okay. when i twist it it'll be different you'll see mm -hmm. so i like <laughs> um what was i gonna say four weeks yeah four weeks time. for the first because probably after that i might spread it to like six yeah but for the first retwist for yeah. four weeks okay so this is day yeah. one so yes guys get into the coils i introduced to you my starter locks baby locks whatever you want to call them um so yeah this is the beginning for me now like i said they are bigger than i wanted and could i have done them smaller myself absolutely but like i said like my feeling was just to go to get it started with a loctician and that's what i did and i am happy i went there because i do like the vibe of the shop um so oh my gosh get into the slow mo please so yes your girl is loving her locks loving them now he did want to shave the little hairs on my neck back there but i told him to leave it because look if that's where the hair is growing then the hair is just going to keep growing back there sure it would have looked nice and cleaned up and shaped up and stuff but i'm quite all right with it it doesn't bother me so So my loctician, he's vegan and we we're just talking about food and stuff, you know, and healthy eating and things. And um, I do eat healthy, but I, I do eat meat. So I was talking about how at one period of time I cut out meat, but I only eat fish and stuff like that. So anyways, I was just saying stuff like, I don't think I'll go vegan or I'm definitely not rushing into um, being vegan anytime soon, but definitely into taking um, healthier options. Like I might just go back to um, eating fish, which I think is a pescatarian. Update, so your girl is actually pescatarian again. I'm now heading down the plant-based route. Um, so here I am saying I probably won't be going vegan. And I've actually started to consider it lately. So no, I'm not vegan, but I'm definitely heading down the plant base roots so if there's anyone out there interested i won't make this video long about it but i suggest watching what the health on netflix that's all i have to say real soon i'll probably cut out red meat again <laughs> i'm walking my ass straight to mcdonald's 
And she said, yeah, cut out meat soon. And I'm walking straight to McDonald's to get something meaty for her. <laughs> I think mean, that's so funny, but um, but yeah, it's just the irony of that. So I just reached home. I don't want to take off my hat or my um, gym bonnet <laughs> because I, I fiddle in my hair like when I don't when I'm not realizing. So I want to keep it as covered as possible. That's literally my aim for this whole thing. Let's just keep it as covered, especially when I'm in my house, because I will literally just feel it up. Um, but anyways, I got my McDonald's. I demolished the nuggets already. And I'm onto the big tasty, and I'm not feeling it. I don't know if it's because the conversation I had today with the guy, or if it was not the hottest thing to bite into. But I'm just not feeling it. Like I would have rather got my fish, fish fillet, fillet of fish burger, which I always get. So maybe I'm done with beef. Maybe, but yeah. Okay, so this is me. So thick. Look at the volume. <laughs> Yo, my hair is so thin. Like it's fine, like one breeze and it's gone. <laughs> like it, there is literally, it's so thin. And the ends are probably like heat damage. Well, it's not probably, it is heat damage, I'm sure. Um, even though it is still curly, but it's just a bit of the straightened part so you can tell anyways you can just tell um i did ask him if it's an issue and he, he did say he was gonna cut it but then he said it will be fine um because i was like asking him if it's not gonna be like an issue then it's all right because if it's all gonna like mat up and lock up anyways then that's no problem or else i would have had no problem with him cutting it but yeah this is what we're working with i either have already inserted the clips of my hair at the back or I will now insert the clips of my hair at the back but yeah that is it so I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up because if I don't I'm gonna be playing in my hair and I don't want to do that because I don't want it to unravel um so yeah I'm just gonna wrap it up and go back and watch the office so yeah stay tuned for the rest of the journey i'm really excited like i was saying um i am just looking forward to it and it feels right i don't feel nervous i don't feel like okay i'll see how it goes no like i'm dedicated to this i am just ready ready like a party to just get this started so i can't wait to see the pictures six months one year a year and a half two years <laughs> I just can't wait to see the progress, but this is day one. You have to start somewhere. Um, so yeah, let's go. Love journey. Thanks guys for watching. Um, and just stay tuned for the rest. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.